So, Ellen, what you doing down here? You need your rest, honey. How solicitous. You're feeling better. You mean, am I still drunk? Not enough. Somebody thoughtfully locked up all the liquor. But I am. Uh, I just happened to find this uh, lovely little bottle of burgundy in the kitchen. And Teresa tried to protect me from it. Seems like everyone's protecting me except my uh, loving husband. Let me have the bottle, Sue Ellen. You shouldn't be drinking. You know that. You lecture me on what I should and shouldn't do. All right, all right, I won't. My. How agreeable you are. Wonder why you're so agreeable, JR. Hmm? Did you find someone new to sleep with you today? Or did you have to rely on one of your old mistresses? Maybe, just um, maybe Miss Holly Harwood made herself available to you. Maybe the two of you were out wildcatting. Hmm? That's all over, Sue Ellen. It was, it was a big mistake. I thought I explained that to you. You know, you are a terrific explainer. In fact, you do that better than you do most anything. You know, you even explained away the 10 years of hell I went through during our first marriage. And you know what? I believed you so much that I married you for the second time. What an idiot I was. Well, and I love you. What do I have to do to prove it? You don't have to do anything. You've ruined my life, JR. You have destroyed me. Like you destroy everything you touch. Now, why don't you do one kind little thing for me, hmm? Unlock the liquor, because I'm going to drink myself into oblivion. And we'll talk about this when you calm down. Mom. I'll see you, the boy. What? Don't you dare touch that son of mine. He's mine. Well, I'll get Mama to take care of him. Where is she in him? She went away with Clayton. She can't stand the sight of you either. I'll take care of myself. Keep away from him. You stay here, Sue Ellen. No!